Prior to the actual client recording, I'll recheck all connections and record test files to verify that all's going as planned. Even after you've done all you possibly could in pre-preparation for your session, at times unforeseen events pop up. During the recording of the solo piano project for Dave, in the middle of one of the songs, one of the two AKG 451 EBs used in the XY configuration over the keyboard, suddenly created a, a pop. Well, the producer's reaction paralleled mine as we said, what the heck was that? I assured him it was a noise that was removable. It seems that when technical glitches surface like the pop I've described, that take always seems to be the absolute best take ever that could never be duplicated. I suspect there's a couple of you out there listening to this that can identify with that. Well, luckily, we have a few options for repair. The first would be to simply stay in Digital Performer. I can highlight the track of concern in the sequence window, select the sound file tab, resize the window for a comfortable view, select the pencil tool, then proceed to smooth out the glitch as you'll discover you can do with the pencil tool. The second option would be to go outside Digital Performer into a program like Bias Peak Pro. In that case, I'd open the application, Navigate to the problem area with the Zoom tool. Highlight the area and use the Repair feature. It's a real cool way to smooth out the problem without the rigidness the pencil can sometimes have. Remember, the smallest ridge in the waveform can draw a brand new artifact. So concentrate on drawing at zero crossing points. Fundamental problem with typical waveform editors in a critical situation like this is that you run the risk of creating a momentary change in the image and timbre, or a little bump in the image. Although noises that occur during a musical performance as you record seem as if they only alter the waveform for that moment in time, there's a blemish that exists around the visual that also creates an audible artifact. The problem area that you pencil edit doesn't quite do it all. For that reason, my third option was the choice, to use Isotopes RX. After you launch the RX application, locate the track with the problem and choose Open. You'll immediately notice a very different way to look at your file. It's called Spectral View. Use the Zoom tools to navigate the problem area, highlight it, and choose the Spectral Repair button. The way RX repairs the waveform is based on an analysis of the surrounding area of the problem. Select Apply to correct the problem. The waveform area that you selected is now reconstructed, and if used correctly with the correct settings, totally eliminates the glitch as well as the surrounding blemish.